to quote Luke Skywalker, every word you just said is wrong. Go watch Knothead's video there. He nails it. The comment he's responding to just reminds me that so often the most condemning of Christians literally do not know the Bible. Jesus told the woman at the well to go and sin no more, said the commenter. No, he didn't. Jesus did not say go and sin no more to the woman at the well. He didn't say it to Zacchaeus. Jesus is only quoted one time ever in the Gospels making that statement, and it's in a disputed passage that was not in the original manuscripts in John chapter 8 for the story we normally call the woman caught in adultery. Jesus told the Samaritan woman at the well that you've been married five times and now you're living with a man who is not your husband. And the woman neither responded in shame with, I'm sorry, or ran the other direction, as is customary when Christians bring their condemnations today. Her response was, wow, you're a prophet. I want to hear more of what you have to say. And the end of the story is she went and got all her friends and said, come meet the man who's told me everything I've ever done. That's not the way many people respond to Christian condemnation today. Maybe your interactions with humans don't look quite like Christ. And in the story called The Woman Caught in Adultery, which should be called Jesus telling the religious guys to turn their ass and get the hell out of there, Jesus is quoted as saying, go and sin no more, after he risks his reputation, his career, maybe even his life, standing between the biblical men with the rocks and the woman they want to stone. And after embarrassing her condemners and chasing them away, Jesus turns to the woman and says, I don't condemn you, which is saying, I have every right to, but I choose not to. American Christians love to skip all of those parts and go straight to the go and sin no more. But even in the go and sin no more part, if Jesus is telling this woman who's likely a prostitute, stop doing what you're doing, he's telling her not to eat anymore. A woman in that society had no rights if she wasn't married or wasn't living with her father. And therefore, it's very likely the only way she could survive is to be a prostitute to the good men of the society. So if you believe the go and sin no more part of this story is the biggest part to extract out of it and universally apply that to every interaction you have with human beings, you simply don't understand the story of Jesus. By sitting at the well with the Samaritan woman that was not his wife, Jesus was violating scripture, as well as violating social standards and his position as a teacher. Christians, if you're not willing to lose your reputation for sitting with people that good people will hate you for sitting with, and then at the end, they don't say, ooh, let me get my friends to come and meet you and you tell them the things like you did me, then maybe you're not doing it like Jesus did. Jesus was hated by religious people for being too kind to sinners. Thus, we don't see him running around yelling, go and sin no more. Maybe you shouldn't either.